Here's some examples of some of the stuff you might see at the show. Be next week, next Sunday, Johnny. Thank you. And of course, we've still got Johnny T. Bond working on the bear. We'll come back later and see how he progresses. And here we got Zeke's stuff. Got some wood here at there. Some mighty fine looking fishing lures we got here. Whatever color you might want. Over here, we got Gene Webb Enterprises. Looks like he's got some eggs, some pine knots, got some up outs here. Different kinds. Then we got some tools here for you to choose from. Lots of different bits and stuff. Gloves for your safety of your hands. Filters for your um, dust collector. Aprons. Anything you might need. You want the power card, son. Then we got a couple of tools here. Looks like some great tools over there. Here's some of the carvings that you might see when you're here. Everybody having a good time. Here's the snake again. And everybody's got their dogs here. All kind of puppies. And then we come over here. Of course, we got Alan Goodman knives. Different um, variations. Wavelength. Then we got some carbon here. So. And of course, got pocket knives. Got some rough out. If I can find anything you want here, good for show. And of course, you got Alan Goodman sharpening the knife. Or changing the button wheel.
All right, and this is again, this is northern, good northern basswood. So the grain's good and tight. Right, where I see a lot of folks mess up when I teach classes on this this little guy is they'll, they'll mess, not mess it up, it's just a different look. But what I'm trying to do is get this hat brought back. Uh, something similar. This is bigger, so let's use this. I'm trying to get this hat brought back and dipped a little bit in there. So after we get the majority of this wood, meaning this off the left and off to the right, then I'll concentrate my efforts more in this area. Alright, so now we get something like that going on. And this is worked right back to the center line. But you need to come in here and take just a little bit more wood off. And this little area right in here. And then I'll show you where the benefits of an upsweep versus a straight blade, or why I like to use an upsweep versus a straight blade. So we get it to kind of this this shape here, and I'll take the, the hat back a little bit more. And the, the way I cut these out, it allows me to, to sweep the hat to the left, to the right. So that's a just another neat little thing you can do with them. But with this knife, I'm going to go ahead and knock off the back corner here. Alright, so you may have heard me popping that grain. Alright, so now we're starting, this is the back of the shoulder back in here. And if, we're, if all you've got is a knife, you may want to get a few cuts up in here started first. Alright, and there's going to be a little dip right in here where I've got my fingers. There's going to be a little dip right in this area. You can use a gouge or you can use your knife. Right, does anybody know the reason I put these little cuts in at the top of the hat? I put those cuts in in case this grabs it. It doesn't take the very top of that hat off. Let me see if I can get in there. What's the, the purpose of the going in on the back side? Back in here? Yeah. So it might right. be, give this it is it just kind of look. a hood that he's yeah. wearing? To give it a rounded look. I tell you what, I have carved soap with chainsaw. Yes, sir. Awful big soap in here. That big old bar of soap. <laughs> and raining outside, bubbles are flying. <laughs> Take a bath. <laughs> in the creek. <laughs> yeah. Hey. You know what, boys? Well, dog is in their pen. I'll fly. All over your flower, they say. Now remember, but I bet Betty's in that pen. Do I need to cut that out right there? Let me show you. Which one is it? Does nothing. We want to get there, but start back here. Okay. What you want to do? Soap's kind of sensitive, right? So you get it in here, and then come back here. All right, and then you come back here. And then what you're going to do is. Is your work your way up, okay? okay. So, and likewise over here. That's the tail. That this is the tail here. Yes. So you got your leg here. Okay, I got this leg. Yes, sir. This is Gene Webb's Rattler. <laughs> Best to show and people's choice.
slicing mode. Do you see that little curve coming off of there? Don't want it to straight. That gives you really bad coffee. And also that you not too slow here. Shake too well. Keep your eye on the top, on not where the tool touches. You'll be watching right up here. So you see the shape that's developing. Exactly the same diameter as these pieces. We've got John still working on the back. Hey, well, welcome to Stone Gap. I'm from Butler, Tennessee. Hey, my name is Zeke, and we're in Stone Gap, Virginia. Can you say woo -wee? <laughs> But I'm showing, I'm going to show you. There it is right there. That, and look at that. That is the model for the, for the bear. Short legs. Yeah. <laughs> Got his coon tail. Hi. See you, Zeke. We'll see y'all later. You know what, boys? Dogs and their pen are flying all over your flower, Lee. <laughs>